Sven Straubingen is a German master student in computer and media. Sven is one of the five team members working on their free time on an innovative project. In less than two years, they develop a smartphone application for cultural heritage promotion called Zeitfensta, that means time window. This app is now ready to allow time traveling. Last year we were walking through Stuttgart and we are talking about the changing of the architectural environment you can see here all over. And we were thinking about to uh, create an app that, that uh, accomplishes you to travel back and forth in time to, to accomplish time traveling. The app um, offers a whole new experience to, to discover the history of a city. Uh, unless like a photo album where you, can, where you can just switch through the images at home or everywhere, you have to be on location, um, take out the iPhone and enter the so-called time window, which bundles um, the old images on location. You have to walk in and you can merge the historical images with the real camera image in the background. And so you get a whole new experience. Almost available for download at the App Store, the project is an interactive media production made at the Stuttgart Media University and counted with support and historical advice from various cultural city institutions. When you arrive at the point at the Schlossplatz, you can take out the app and you can explore the environment by turning around 360 degrees. You can see the historical images overlay the real object and you can um, maximize the image by pressing on it and now you can merge the image with the um, actual image in the background so you, you can see over here Königsbau There are a lot of benefits when you have a corporation like that bringing people from museums together with people creating um, interesting applications, interesting things with new technologies. There was always, always a benefit for, for the user afterwards because they have interesting content that you don't have access as a normal user to. And we provide the technologies to offer access to content and bringing those worlds together. There's of course always a huge benefit for the user. challenge is of course the communication between those two big parts I mean on the one side you, ha you have really scientific um, historical people working there for, for example in museums or on, on archives and on the other side you got so, some developer who are really fit with new technology and de development of applications and to bring those two worlds together there was always a communication problem and, and that's maybe the biggest issue you have working with on, on corporations like that. Mm -hmm.